Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to my home country of Slovakia, Eastern Europe. Well, geographically Central Europe, but culturally Eastern. There's a very popular trend nowadays on YouTube. People try the worst reviewed restaurants, cafes, bars in New York, London, LA. But nobody cares about Eastern Europe. The region most people view as unfunctional, poor and ugly, but in fact it offers beauty, generosity and some amazing places. But we're not showing you that today. We're going to the worst weird restaurant here. Let's find the worst reviewed restaurant in Slovakia. TripAdvisor.com Where to? Slovakia, Europe. Yes, exactly. What do we want here? We don't want hotels, we don't want things to do, we want restaurants. So we have to go to page 33 and I can already see the worst restaurants here. Okay, some of them have only one review so we don't want to go there because uh, it's just one review. It may have been just one customer and the restaurant may be actually good. But, oh, I can already see it. I can already see the worst weird restaurant. It's called Prasiatko, which means little pig in Slovak. Let's see some of the reviews. Ooh. Tourist trap. The food looked like my own vomit. This bad food, we left half of it on the plates. Two hours later I had to vomit and my stomach... When the mains arrived, they were nothing special, except my friend's wilted salad. Average food, bad service, very expensive, no bill. The worst overall restaurant we ever visited. Worst service experience ever. They charge us for one Caesar salad, 30, 90 euros plus 150 for service without bringing anything. No bread, no salt, no oil. These thieves charge us 9 euros for one beer. I really expected an, an ugly looking restaurant, but this one looks luxurious how can this be the worst reviewed restaurant so according to these reviews uh, we should probably prepare for some food poisoning we should probably expect a very rude service and we should go to an ATM because apparently it's expensive let's go to the worst reviewed restaurant in Slovakia <laughs> I don't know what to think about this restaurant because it looks luxurious but man those reviews huge mystery for us little pig little pig what surprises are you hiding from us to find out we headed to the city center and hoped the little pig wasn't a pigsty So we arrived at the city center with my cameraman and uh, since most of the reviews were saying that the staff is rude to tourists, we're gonna pretend we are tourists. We're gonna talk in English. Let's go. Currently in the small city center of our town of Bratislava, full of tourists as you can see and apparently tourist traps. Just two minutes away from the restaurant we are starving. Then it finally appeared in front of us. You would never expect The Little Pig to be the worst reviewed restaurant in Slovakia. It was packed with people who all looked pretty happy. Was it just the mirage? We were about to find out. Look at this. This is luxurious. <coughs> you think you can, we can sit here? the hell? Hi, can we can we sit here and eat here? No. No? On the upstairs? On the upstairs. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. You will wait 45 minutes. 45 minutes mm -hmm. for the food. It's okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me? We don't have soup. You don't have to. Okay, okay, no problem. First of all, some something to drink. Something to drink. Wait, wait, wait. Where are the drinks? Where, where are? Where are the drinks? Can you see the drinks here? 
There are no drinks on the menu. There are no drinks, so we have no idea how much they cost. So the prices are a bit higher, but we're in the center, so that's completely understandable. Yeah, um, I would like a, a beer. You're gonna have water. Yeah, Rastislav's Charm. And for me, Caesar Salad. Caesar Salad. Rastislav's Charm, one and one Caesar Salad. Exactly. Okay. So far, so good. They, they're pretty kind. Everyone's pretty kind. The servers are smiling all the time. They don't seem rude at all. First impressions, pretty good. You may be drinking the most expensive water in the world. Do you realize that? Enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you. To be completely honest with you, that took like 25 minutes, not 45. Thumbs up, little pig. Let's try the Caesar salad first. It's not seasoned at all. There's no salt, no pepper. It's kind of bland. Nothing special. I would expect a little higher quality in the city center of Bratislava for a Caesar salad that costs 14 euros. Bland, really bland. But we're starving, so I'm probably gonna eat like half of it. Let's try the, the magical dish. Rastislav's charm. It looks really good. So this should be pork and also beef. That's good. But I have problem with this. This is what you can see right here. This is like the cheapest. It's not even a ham. How do you how do you explain this? You know what this this is. This is not even a ham. It's the it's a cheap stuff from supermarket like something like a ham but it's not a real ham. Mm, no no no. But apart from that it's pretty good. The sauce is good, the seasoning is good. Okay, it's fine. We are from the US. US? East yeah. Coast or West in the middle? Uh, in the middle. In the middle? Kentucky, yeah. <laughs> Look how red he is. Now I'm from hell. <laughs> we played it well. We played it well. Mm, but the meat is fine. The meat is delicious. The sauce is great. So Rastislav's charm really is charming. I don't know what all these people found bad about this place. Thank you, thank you. Very good. Can we can we have the menu please again? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We should end this wonderful stay in this restaurant with a, with a dessert. So we're gonna order one of my favorites of Slovakia. Šulance uh, Makove, which is poppy seed noodles. I would describe it more as a, as a gnocchi. It's made out of uh, potatoes. Yeah, we're gonna have this. Just, to share? Yeah, please to share. Thank you very much. I'm so nervous. You're nervous, why? Because if you ask something to me... It's not gonna ask you. I'm gonna say that you have... Uh, you're special. Yes, I'm, retarded. Yes, I'm gonna say that you were uh, choked at birth. Okay. Thank you. Poppy seed noodles, that, that sounds really strange for a foreigner, right? Now I kind of understand some of the reviews. That was rude. Thank you very much. Thank you. So this is it. Please don't disappoint me. I, I love this meal. What do you think about it? Blend. 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 I think it's really blend. We always need to dip it in sugar to taste something. But again, it's not bad. But it's nothing special. I'm confronting the waiter with the reviews and I'm gonna ask him what he thinks about it. And I'm also gonna say that it wasn't as bad as we expected or as the reviews are saying. And I'm not gonna include uh, what he said to those uh, Asian people. I don't know, like I was working in a restaurant and especially during peak hours and during busy times, customers really pissed me off. And Sometimes I, I whispered something in my native language. I was working in the US, so nobody would understand me. So I can kind of understand what was going on there, but if, if this happens on daily basis several times a day, that's just fucking rude. Okay, thank you very much. So the beer was uh, 450, not nine euros, as someone uh, mentioned in the reviews. The water was 330. It's a bit higher than uh, normally, even in the city center. We're paying 54 euros for lunch of two people in the city center of Bratislava. Our stomachs are full. Let's confront 
the servers. Why am I so nervous? Máte na nás tak minutku, my nie sme z USA. Viete o tom, že táto reštaurácia je hodnotená najhoršie z celého Slovenska? Je to možno. A my sme tu mali úplne norm... Nevieme prečo. Nevieme prečo. Tak je to drahé, ľudia nadávajú. Pivo 4,50. Tak možno to, ale... Výzorovka 3,30. Je to fakt, že tá je tá ulica oproti je to lacnejšia. Lenže oproti je, neviem, 30 metrov štvorcový. Ale to sú... A tu je to 5x tak veľký. Ale to sú recenzie ľudí, ktorí sú nie Slováci. A tí sú zvyknutí na trošku vyššie ceny. A na to, že sa tam dáva servis v tých reštauráciách. Ale dojde napríklad aj na stredný kraj, ten nemôže byť spokojný. Aha, čiže skôr, skôr taký, že nie zo západnej Európy, ale... Tretie krajiny, Afrika, Malázia... Aha, aha, jasné, jasné, jasné. Slovetnejšie krajiny s tým nemajú problém. Posledná otázka, jednu vecičku sa chcem spýtať, prečo v tom menu nie sú to pivo a tá minerálka? Nie, napojujem listov, dávame kde si vypiť, to tu je napojujem. Aha. Ale nedávame automaticky, ale s tým som to je jedno podstate. A tak možno by ste mohli práve dávať automaticky, nech to uvidia, že potom nech nie sú prekvapení, že pivo je 4,50. Ja to ústanec môžem, že tým, že sa opýtam, čo si práve napoviem isto, keď už môžem vyslovil, že len niečo chce pýtať. A tak možno by ste mohli dávať ten nápojový lístok, lebo v tých recenziách sa často spomína, že pivo aj voda ich veľmi prekvapili tá cena. Viete, to je taký ten nepríjemné prekvapenie, keď to príde na tom účte. Možno, že to je jediná taká z tých vecí, ktoré by mohli trošku pomôcť. Musíte povedať potom neskôr pred účtom a nedali by sa ľudia. Po Slovákom nemáme o zikotáčiť, či je to aj tak dáhne. Ďakujem pekne. Ďakujeme. Well, you've heard it. You've heard it all. The food was average, the service was okay, the prices were a bit too much and they didn't bring us the beverage menu. Make up your own mind, but I'm giving the worst reviewed restaurant in Slovakia 3.5 stars out of 5. If you'd like to see more worst reviewed places in Eastern Europe, hit the like button and let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and as we say in Slovakia, dovidenia. Little pig.